Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm excited to delve into the fascinating topic of life cycle of stars, a spectacular saga on the cosmic stage. The lives of stars begin in stellar nursery, which are vast clouds of gas and dust. Over a period of time, the clouds slowly collapse under gravity and become denser and hotter until they reach a point when the temperature is so high that atomic fusion begins. That's when a star is born, shining and pouring out a tremendous amount of energy. The ultimate fate of a star depends on its mass. A medium-sized star like our Sun remains stable for a long period of time, fusing hydrogen into helium. The outward pressure from the fusion reactions in its core balances the inward pull of gravity. However, in billions of years, the Sun will eventually run out of hydrogen fuel in its core. At this point, the Sun will collapse and the outer layers of the Sun will expand, transforming it into a red giant. Someday when our Sun becomes a red giant, it will engulf planets Mercury and Venus and even reach Earth. Eventually, the outer layers of the star will drift away, creating a planetary nebula one of the most beautiful objects in the universe. The remaining hot and dense core of the star ends up as a white dwarf. More massive stars have even more dramatic fate. They can fuse heavier and heavier elements until they reach iron. Once they reach iron, they can no longer produce energy through fusion and their core collapses. This collapse triggers a supernova explosion one of the most violent phenomena in the universe. A supernova can appear brighter than an entire galaxy that contains billions of stars. After the explosion, when the outer layers of the star blast into space, the core of the star will turn into a neutron star, one of the most compact objects in the universe. But if the remnant star is more massive than three times the mass of the Sun, the gravity becomes so strong that nothing can stop it from collapsing until it turns into a black hole. Stars are cosmic factories that process hydrogen into heavier elements, creating the building blocks of our planet and even our bodies. As Carl Sagan once said, we are literally made of star stuff. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. But before I go, here's a quick quiz for you. Among the major stars in the Orion constellation, which one is a red giant?